Hey guys, this is gonna be an, um, another unboxing. Um, I got this just about an hour ago, and I had to take the dogs for a walk. So, um, but this was a model I got off eBay for about seventy dollars. I want to say it was supposed to be like a hundred, um, but it since the guy was a lot closer to me than he thought he was, the shipping wasn't as much. So that's nice. Um, oh, it's a box inside of a box. Great. Um, the box a little bit intimidated me. I didn't expect it to be this big, but it looks like it's not as big as I thought it was, which is a plus. It's a cat off-road forklift. Um, I think it was made in like O2 or something. It's a cat. Oh, it's right, cat. Uh, TH360B. Oh, it's not as big as I thought it was. That's nice. Um, the guy said it was never, never been opened. Um, so. And it looks like it hasn't. That's really small. You guys can see. That's pretty good size, actually. Um, so. On with the rest of it. Come over here. Clear off some of this junk. Season pass. So. Um. I said I was going to get a 330, but I didn't. Instead, I got this, because um, this was a rarer model, you could say, that I wanted a little bit more. I mean, I really wanted the 330, um, but I kind of would have rather had this than the 330. So this looks like tells you how to take off the attachments. So, oh, and then um, over there, you guys can kind of see, I got the 330, or the 320, and it's got, I'll just show you guys this real quick, because um, I'll get this video up a little bit. I did some stuff to it, drilled out the back, like that, and then I'm building a processing head that's going on it, just fell off, and then it's got a, um, ow thumb, or not a thumb, a quick coupler on it, so, like that, and it does come off, like, so you don't have to pull out any pins, um, and then I also got a, um, a brush cutter, or brush eater, or brush hog, whatever you call it, wherever you live, it depends on where you live, um, uh. call it different names. We call it brush hog. So here, got maybe pull this out. Nope. This looks like a decent model. Um, I've seen a couple people that have it. Um, I know it's a pretty old model, maybe like um, I'm guessing early 2000. So when they made it, um, I think it was like no, it wasn't 02. It was like a maybe 05. Something like, well, maybe like 04 or 03. Because I know I wasn't that old when I saw it, the catalog when they first came out with it. And I was like, oh, I want that. So, I finally got it. Maybe this would pull. And I've been busy with customs. I want to do a custom update um, today. Or not like an up, like a. collection update because that's what I mean um so because I had a guy I had a friend of mine request that oh nice job I I don't know if you guys hate it but I hate it that Norscott used twisty that Norscott uses twisty ties I mean they hold the models in but if you want to get it out like in a video I don't think they understand our logic so that at least in my opinion oh it's got all four steering it's kind of an improvement, I guess you could say. So. Whoa, it's kind of major. Oh, well, there's some pluses to this, it looks like. One thing I noticed on it that I thought it would make it a little bit better is if the door opened. A door opened, it would make it so much nicer. Just in my opinion. Hmm. 
not the best steering. Kind of like the worst steering, but um, we'll get to that later. Um, this was another one of those models that was kind of hard for me to find, or it was kind of hard to find, uh, because you know they're models that they don't make anymore, and now I'm a sucker for the for that kind. Don't know why I am. I just am. Um, I'm a sucker for something that they don't make anymore that I really want. Like the two service trucks and the Cat 580B, for example. Those were two other hard ones to find. Oh, and this is also an extending handler. That's one of the other attachments. That's kind of small, but, you know, it happens. I was really looking forward to this bucket. That was kind of the whole reason I bought the model. I mean, it, I wanted the forks on it because it's going in the new diode. Um, which you guys are like, oh, it's a logging diode. Why do they have an off-road fork with the logging diode? Well, eventually, if there's going to be a house put in below once I get some more equipment. And uh, they're going to need it to move some stuff around, like your, you know, your refrigerator and stuff. I was considering buying a Grove crane or a sword one of the sword cranes on a Peterbilt uh, low boy or not low boy a flatbed I was thinking about buying one of those because that would be a little bit better maybe because and the bucket is all metal and it's a two way bucket which is nice crush some stuff with that I know one of my neighbors has a. Oops, I need to want to spill that. A cat. Maybe it's a 963D. I don't know what it is, but it's got like a bucket like that. It's got the two-way bucket on it, and he uses that to grade the road. It's pretty cool. I'll get some videos up of it eventually. I'm pretty sure it's broken though. I think I don't know. Um, I think I'll need that. But um, I was looking forward to this. This was supposed to be here a long time ago. Uh, but I got it. The guy was in Canada. So, slow can Canadian mail. I mean, I got, I got a lot of my skitters from Great Britain. And that came quicker. So, oh, that was nice. Um, there, so you guys can see it. That's the new custom tag trailer. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, like I said, in the update. Show you guys some pictures of it. Oh, and then I got Rob some D6, or I'm working on that. But wow, that's a really, really small model. Wow. This is a little bit, I don't know if you could say impressive or you could say strange. I think this is like my smallest model, to tell you the truth. I didn't expect this thing to be this small. I mean, there's one in town in, um, where I live that I was looking at today. But I mean, that thing's decently big. And I thought it was like the same style. Oh, I hate these. So, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna get these off. I mean, I have, I like that. There we go. I have a 130 second scale Bobcat version of this. That's cat. So I'll get into a little bit of detail here, you got, you know. Okay, that's weird. Okay, this is kind of weird. Maybe you guys can help me with this. It's got, it's got two cylinders there. Maybe you guys can see it's got two cylinders there and a big one there. Just kind of weird. And you got your stabilizers. They don't reach really to the wheels. Not really, that kind of sucks. But I guess you would put some pads there and maybe you would lift it up some. Um, but you know, you see these things driving down the highways and blah, 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 blah. But I, I kind of bought this for the bucket. Because I thought the bucket was pretty cool. I can tell this has not been used. I mean, the bucket is like huge on this thing. And that, the cylinder there is not the best. That's not a lot of movement, but... You know, if you were 
and then the really disappointing thing is that it doesn't reach all the way to the ground. But if you're going to like pick something up and you had it like that, then you could do that. But if you're going to, oh, that's very similar, Matthew. Darn it. I'm going to have to work on a quick coupler design here. There goes the bucket. Oh, well. It's still intact. Good metal. Good Chinese fashion junk. Ugh. Okay, well now it kind of does, but... Okay, there it goes. But I like this style. How he grades it is... Like that. Pulls back on that. But So, in your full extensions... That's as high as it'll go. Which is pretty good. Um, and then I'll show the material handler, or the material stick, or whatever you call it, thing on it. And this is metal and plastic. Let's roll some out. I wonder if they fit in the new tag trailer. And I'll show you guys the log truck. As I know couple guys, or I know one guy who was a little bit interested, but you know, it's not a one axle, trust me, I wouldn't do that. It just, the other axle is on the truck, so I mean, then you have your other axle right there. But, it would fit on there, Let's give it a shot. Put the forks on it, probably. Or the bucket, forks are the smallest. Forks fit on there, great. Forks do go in and out. Which is another nice feature. Uh, another reason I bought this is because I wanted something that would fit on that. Also besides the D6. And it does. Surprisingly. Pretty good sized. Really heavy. But, you know, to be expected. Um, so, I'll show you guys the new log truck. There's one of the designs. There's the tag. There's the trailer. It's all painted up, except for that because you wouldn't slide in and out. Now you got your two bunk. You got your bunks. You got that down there. This one wiggles a little bit. There's a pin that holds it in place, and you got your fifth wheel. And I was working on a log, long log right there, but that kind of failed. There's the other tag trailer, and the bunks for that are right there. Don't know why that's there. But, um, I'll get this, today's Tuesday, so I'll either get it up Tuesday or tonight or Wednesday, I don't know. Um, you know, watch it, subscribe, rate, comment. Um, if you guys want a video on 320, or an update on that, I'll do that, or the, anything you guys want. Also, uh, I have some other videos, so, um, that's really about it, guys. Thanks for watching, subscribe, rate, comment, and, uh, one other thing, please, like, comment, and rate, and subscribe. Is I had a couple ratings and one of them I know who the guy was, but um he said he said my last video was pretty bad just because I got one piece of information wrong. And to tell you the truth, guy, dude, it's not. It's all fine. Um so and actually they do some excavators out here um do have processing heads on them and they're not factory. Just so you know. So um I got a walk around of that of one of them. That'll get up, so. Um, oh darn it. Ugh, I didn't get that in. So, um, the bucket is like, huge on that thing. I mean, it's like this tiny little off road forklift in this huge bucket. So, um, thanks guys. Uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. That'd be great. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya.